Hello and welcome. My name is Jake Lukowski. Joining me today are Mike Williams and Gareth Evans. Hello. Hey, I've been thinking. Sea of Thieves came out recently and it said about its endgame. It said we've got a lot of stuff that's going to happen in the endgame. I'm going to talk about that in a minute. But what is an endgame? Why do people keep saying, hey, the real game starts at endgame? What's that all about? That's what I was thinking. So I thought I'd bring these two in and we can have a good old chat about it. Yeah, okay? this was this was all your idea. So right. first of all, before we get into <laughs> Sea of Thieves specifically, uh, endgame. So that's normally post-game content what, when you're just walking around doing things after the game's ended. For you guys personally, what do you reckon to that? Is that a big selling point of a game if it's got an end game? Or are you not really bothered really? at all what you can do after after the main game? Really depends on the game, doesn't it? It really depends on what kind of game you're playing. A game like Sea of Thieves, I don't think end game, to be honest. I just think game. Uh, it's got to be much more of a, an MMO type game, if not explicitly an MMO. So uh, Destiny or something gets away with it because it claims to be a you know, a, a, a sub-MMO or a faux-MMO, whatever they call it, you know, it's it's almost there, MMO-like, MMO-like. So, yeah, it was something like Destiny, Monster in the World even as well, you know, you, you've played through this game um, for so long and you've built your character up to s- uh, such a level, which is a key thing, you've built yourself up, your abilities, your equipment and stuff. So what do you do once you've got all that god-tier level equipment? You gotta have something to do, right? You gotta have a reason to keep checking in and using that stuff and being that character. And yeah. So it's got it's got to be something like that, I think. I think the gameplay gameplay loop is important, no matter whether it's early game, mid game, or end game. It's got to be rewarding and it's got to feel like it's worth your time. Now, I think um, this is one of the problems with a lot of games is that you get to the end game, you've achieved the yeah. the ultimate aim, which is to complete the game but then there's no rewarding feedback for continuing to play the game and I think that's what's important in an end game is that you feel like you are still having fun yeah and still get going somewhere <clears throat> still get achieving something although the, the main achievement is uh, is done yeah completing a campaign or the main story but there's mm-hmm. still stuff to mo- like Fallout 3 was a game that I remember specifically needed an end game and it, at first it didn't come with one can you remember when you finished the, yeah. the main story of Fallout 3 you couldn't go around the wasteland afterwards exploring yeah. that was it so you have to make a save before end game yeah. to Just go around ludicrous. mopping up yeah. and then they brought it out with the first uh, bit of DLC but games like that that I can see that if you could, could you call that end game after you finish the campaign or the main story uh, it would make sense to go around doing side quests you still feel like you're achieving yeah well, that's that's, that's different. That's different, isn't it? That's like um, almost achievement hunting, sweeping up the map, mm. making sure you haven't left any stones yeah. unturned, missed any good little side quests and stuff. You've finished the story. That's yeah. That's just that will have an end because when you've reached the end point of that, right. it will be that's it. You've got the platinum trophy. You've got all the Xbox achievements. You've completed the game. You've beat. You've done everything this game has to see. Whereas an end game, when someone says end game is one word, it's an endless loop. It's like an endless cycle of stuff every week. They'll maybe add new activities or new challenges or something to keep you coming back. That's the difference. I it's think. more like multiplayer versus a single player, right? In a single player game, there is always the end of the content, right? Yeah. They've, they've produced enough content for you to keep playing for a, a finite amount of time. Whereas a multiplayer game, it needs a really, it's really important that it has that end game, that it keeps you playing beyond the content. Uh, that, that you know, it keeps you interested yeah. because otherwise <laughs> the multiplayer aspect will die. People will drop off. Not enough people playing multiplayer. The game dies. Well, here, here's the thing. Endgame seems to be now being used as a carrot on a stick, according to some recent examples. Let me talk to you about the specific topic at hand, Sea of Thieves, right? Because it's a very uh, contemporary choice. It's not the first game to do this. Mine has been loads of other games. No Man's Sky famously did it. Some would say Destiny. But I'm going to hit you with some direct quotes from the, the Sea of Thieves developer blog on mm-hmm. their website it wasn't an awkward face-to-face interview where they might feel uncomfortable and say yes yeah. when they mean no or yeah like sean murray yeah. this is them deciding to put this out into the world so they weren't put on the spot this, was typed this up is what they said yeah over. so when you finish the game you're not the pirate hideout this hideout quotes this hideout becomes your hideout you've started this journey to become a barbosa a jack sparrow a black beard of the sea of thieves world and now you're going to build the black pearl when people see your ship, they will know it's the ship of a pirate legend. So this actually, uh, we've mm-hmm. already seen somebody achieve pirate legend status. That's a whole different story. But there's a guy, Prodigy X, who, um, with the help of the community, has reached end game, And we found that this isn't true. There's no legendary ships at all. You get one new cosmetic set. Completely false. One of a quote. You can meet the pirate lord. He will give you legendary voyages, which are the best and most rewarding voyages in the game. 
it's exactly the same voyages as the others. This isn't, you know, speculation of this. This is people have got to the end to find this is a whole different. You know, it's a completely different thing than what yeah. it's been promised. Like No Man's Sky, and it, this end game thing is kind of a little way of promising content it doesn't necessarily have to be there and reviewers who get early copies might not have the time to achieve this so do you think that that could be one of the reasons um that they gate content behind anything do you well, think it's to stop people getting to that straight away i don't know when did that it depends on when that blog post was written and i also feel like it's the kind of thing where it sounds like something they would want to do and they probably yeah. will add it in later this like was Sky's three done, weeks but. before release yeah. Uh, that the, the blog post was was published. Um, do you think that calling end game the beginning game? Do you think that's a mistake? I, I no, oh, yes it is, but not for for a different reason. I think because it always it always it annoys me when people say that and the campaign is just a tutorial as an excuse for the for the campaign being bad. Yeah. Um, rather than there being the promise of something good at the end of it, it's when it's used as an excuse for the game being bad. The game's not going to change. If you read that and and believed that the game would be a different game at the end of it and you'd it'd open up a whole other fairy tale um, avenue of pirate legend status and a different type of quest and all that kind of stuff. You know, like the pirate raids. That was that was the thing. Like it's the MMO raid equivalent. Yeah. Like you know, it's not going to become a different game. It's not it's not going to become much better when you reach the end game. The end game needs to be as good as the rest of the game to keep you engaged it's not the game's not going to go up in quality at the end i don't think and i i making making promising that the game is going to have all this stuff either they haven't put it in yet because they didn't think anyone would actually reach it yet yeah or like the no man's scam multiplayer <laughs> exactly, exactly yeah oh it's blown our minds that someone has yeah. reached pilot pirate legend status already that's kind of what it sounds like right uh, yeah, but yeah. You, you'd, you'd think that this game, they've pitched it as a platform, so you'd think that they're hoping to build on it afterwards. That is me trying to find a reason for them to have done this that isn't just bull- bullshit. A lie. Yeah, bullshit. It, it sounds like an excuse to me. And um, the fact, if they are planning to add in what they're promising after release, just be honest with people, don't... Don't pull the wool over people's eyes and try and sell them a product which, I mean, it, it's like you, you said it 12 months ago, not even even longer than that probably. This sounds like No Man's Sky Mark II, right? Thank you. And my, he deserves a lot of credit, doesn't Mark? Cool. Because For many th- things, but that, th- this you know. is another example of how they're promising something yeah. and not delivering, right? Because they're, 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 they're promising that you're going to be Power Legend, they're going to yeah. do this, they're this, They're promising and that. And the it, best they have not delivered. quests and the most rewarding that's their words the best and most rewarding voyages they call well, them well they yeah. set the bar really low to begin with yeah so the yeah. most rewarding quest doesn't have to be the exactly and it's still the voyage it's like it's like saying th- these quests are going to be the best quests we've got but they're still quests they're still exactly yeah. what you've been doing there's not going to be a different structure or a different gameplay loop or whatever it's going to be the same thing but the skeletons will be like you know red instead of you know, whatever the I'm not. I don't know if that's what it is. I'm just saying that that's how that's how they do it in Destiny. The enemies are Different harder. They got higher health bars. Yeah. Or whatever. You know, but it's the same exact. You're just shooting stuff <clears> in the head, <throat> really. At the end of the day. So I, I think that this it, it kind of it shocked me a little bit. I'll be honest about they've said all this stuff, like exactly how Sean Murray did it and stuff like that. Uh, but it, there's not been any backlash because a lot of people haven't got there yet. So they're going to yeah. work towards this to find. And I I was wondering if you think that's going to you know, become industry standard because you don't have to show your faults yet. You can just say, oh, towards the end of the game, trust me, we're going to have all the stuff. You keep asking us where all the content is it's towards the end. Do you think it's a, is it all got any negative or positive uh, effects for the industry, do you think? Do you I, know, yeah, I, mean, I, I feel strong about this. You're absolutely right. If people get, you, you know, if people are used to this type of rhetoric from developers where they're promising a lot or they're, they're hyping things up and then it's, and it's not really, really there. Or they're, 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 this game, Sea of Thieves. I know how I feel about it. You've seen the videos, right? I feel like it's just a shell of a game. It's, it's what was that saying? Like a, um, mm. a, a sea wide, wide, or a puddle d- deep as a puddle, or whatever. Yeah, that's it, yeah. But this, this can't. They can't carry on like this, right? And and the people sitting there condoning and saying, "Oh, it's fine. This game's fine. It's an awesome sandbox. You have an adventure. Yeah, I can have. I can have fun going down the park mm. with my mates. I don't need to play a game to have fun with my mates. Yeah, you 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 need to complete the game. You need a certain key elements for the game: progression, story, some sort of achievement, some sort of long term aim. It, for me personally, that's just my opinion. You can disagree as much as you want. Tell me some in the comments because, like I said, you always do. But it needs a certain 
certain elements, key elements, to be considered a game in, in it and of itself. <coughs> and they just haven't achieved it with No Man's Sky. And for gamers these days who have not, they don't see any different, who might think, oh, see if this is the best thing since X, Y, Z. Don't realise that story is an integral part of the game. Good progression is an integral part of a decent game. My, their, their standards are so low, in the future they play other games and they're like, oh, what? Yeah, they just expect they just expect so little. I think I think the <coughs> thing that doesn't sit right with me here is the fact that it's um, <clears throat> by saying it's end game, you just really the only people that you're going to be burning are the people that are dedicated loads of hours to your game, expecting stuff yeah. that you've said to find it. Not only is it not what they said, but it's actually not there. You get one cosmetic difference. Um, what I mean is, if if game's got no end game, now people know that, how will this affect Sea of Thieves in the long run? If the game did have an end game, and it, was, and it really was what they said, and it was really great, it can make a game. A game can sell itself I completely that, on. I think that's true, but not a game like Sea of Thieves. This is uh, the next thing I was going to ask you guys. Um, we just had what, in my opinion, is an example of end game done wrong. It's not there. Yeah. It said it's there, it's not. But there are examples of good end game in different genres, like MMOs are so reliant on end games that now you can buy uh, special versions of oh, games yeah. like World it's of Warcraft yeah. that you're the max yeah. level straight away. Yeah. So you can skip all the uh, the, the main game, I guess. So I guess that's one example of end game, right? Is it, have you guys been playing a game well after you finished a campaign? Like because of the end game well yeah, the, yeah example, the good mean, one. destiny you know but uh, that's um so that's something that, that we played a lot after the you know you finish the campaign of that in the first week and then the rest of the time you're checking in to do your weekly and, and daily activities or whatever yeah. um after that and slowly progress your character to get more cosmetics to power yeah. yourself up to do some of the other um competitive um more difficult things so destiny 2 the end game is far from perfect he's got his critics but it's still i mean it kept us playing for for a while yeah there's the a Christmas. huge social aspect i think of oh, mmos definitely, and definitely. destiny i'm trying to think what's what they might have in common so far social they yeah. can they kind of require multiple high level yeah. players to work together and also also kind of difficult it's the social uh, communication and stuff but also the, dif the difficulty it gives you hard difficult things to do mm -hmm. um and that's that's why you play it the shooting feels great to do where, where sea of thieves is more is a lot more of a sandbox um yeah. kind of thing and it's just a, i think it's a unique game in that it's tried to do something sandboxy and fun and and kind of um almost minecraft inspired yeah but then it's got this end game uh you know this like very very bare bones progression thing where you get you can spend money on cosmetics and stuff like that and you are motivated to do something but it just does it just hasn't got a clear identity of what what it is and for, for that reason i don't think you know the promise of a good end game for sea of thieves isn't going to do anything for it i don't think because because of how long it takes to get there yeah. how, how difficult it is to get there and not because the, the game is challenging but because it takes a long time to get any amount of money or any any amount of what you need to get there. If you know I, I mean. think that they the fact that they've promised it and made it seem bigger than it actually is is worth against it. I think I, person anyway. But uh, guys, what about you? Is there any examples of a game you've played well after release, well after you've <coughs> finished the main campaign, just because you love the loop, you love the social aspect, maybe, or you just want to get stuck in and just play through things over and over again? I mean, the only examples I can think of are single-player open-world games like Red Dead Redemption, for example, and I'm having a lot of fun with Far Cry 5 after finishing the main campaign too. It's like having that, you're still wanting to be in that world, still wanting to have that same sort of feeling, not, not ready to leave it. Okay, I know that I'm going to have to move on at some point, but I'm not ready to leave it just yet. And the, the games that I play for the longest will be multiplayer games like PUBG, for example, over 100 hours in on that, which is more than I'd ever play any other game. There's, yeah. there's no... There's no, you know, it's it's just a, it's just a, a it's fun, one set thing. Fun time it? It is. It's because of the mechanics of that game that it's yeah. just so so replayable. But other than that, I can't think of any examples. No, I mean, just wanted to try and balance it out by thinking of some good examples as well, rather than just all end game suck. But I guess this is about what you guys think as much as it's about what we think. Um, sea of Thieves promised a lot. Do you think that was a good idea? Do you think that's uh, you know maybe false advertising, or you're not really bothered? Are you having fun playing it and 
is there end game examples you can think of that were really good? Stuff like Pokemon Red and Blue, I think you can consider that's got an end game. You could gotta catch them all, right? After you've done the Indigo Plateau. It's there in the slogan. <laughs> it's, it's, it's there right in the franchise there. slogan. But yeah, let's open us up to you guys. Let us know down in the comment section below what you think about end games in general. Worthless, are they deal breakers? Are they deal makers? Will you buy a game if it promises a good end game and can deliver it? Let us know. But yeah, cheers for sticking around. Thanks a lot to Gaz and Mike for sticking. You're welcome. Listen to me rant you're, a lot. And, uh, yeah, appreciate you guys. Remember to check out some more of our content. Let us know what you think about stuff. Patreon, all that good stuff. See you later. Bye 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 bye. You're gonna hit that rock. You're gonna hit that rock. I think it's gonna be too tight. Just go. Just go. No 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 no! You're gonna sneak us. You're gonna sneak us. Oh, I found the captain's quarters. This is mine. Mine. Okay, so the sail's blocking my vision.